This is the all new 2023 Toyota Tundra Crew Max TRD Pro Limited four wheel drive hybrid. Actually, this one came out in 2022 as a brand new model. However, this is a 23 and it is the most off-road capable version, the TRD Pro. In Canada, this truck starts its life as a limited trim and then you upgrade it with a TRD Pro package. So prices start at about $70,000, but this one here, as it sits, it's $84,000. In the US, the TRD Pro is a model on its own and prices start at just under $70,000 as well. Now under the hood, this one gets the most interesting drivetrain, which is the iForce Max configuration as they call it, which means it has a 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo engine that's made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission, but sandwiched in between is an electric motor that adds 48 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. So yes, it is a hybrid. The total output is 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque. But this hybrid model isn't so much about saving gas, it's more about adding balls. Performance is overall really good. I can't say that this truck lacks anything compared to a V8. It actually sounds like a V8 in a very funny way. The hybrid system, together with the turbochargers, they fill in all the gaps. So throttle response is really good, it's instantaneous. And overall, the delivery is very linear and it feels very strong. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour or 0 to 62 miles per hour came in 7.1 seconds which is actually pretty good and it proves that this truck means business but of course at the same time because it is a hybrid fuel economy is pretty good i mean the end of our week finds us with an average of 14.5 liters per 100 kilometers which is 16.2 mpgs and it runs very happily on regular grade gas to make things even better Despite this one being the off-road focused truck, it can still tow 11,175 pounds with a maximum tongue weight of 1,117 pounds. Yes, there are trucks out there that can tow more, but nevertheless, these numbers are still pretty impressive. If you wanna haul things in the five and a half foot bed, which this one has, you are limited to 1,600 pounds, but the bed has a nice liner. It looks very durable and there's lots of flexibility regarding anchors for tie downs. For driving beyond where tarmac ends, this TRD Pro comes with 18 inch forged BBS wheels. It has 33 inch tires, Fox shocks. It has a 1.1 inch lift kit. It has skid plates underneath. It has beefed up stabilizer bars, lots of terrain modes. Of course, it has an electronic transfer case. So you get two high, four high and four low and of course a rear locking differential. Despite the off-road knobby tires, on the road, this one has very good manners, it's very civilized, it feels like a big SUV, it's modern, it's comfortable enough, and handling wise, it's progressive, predictable, but it feels exactly as big as it is. Because it's so big and tall, you can't really see close to you, so you have to be very wary of what's around you, especially other cars and traffic, was a couple of occasions that I thought I'm good to change lane and then the blind spot monitor said whoa 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 there's a tiny little Corolla next to you that you haven't seen I'm like sorry so it does have very good cameras though that you can see everything around you multiple views for towing for off-roading for whatever the steering is quite slow so maneuverability I said that word is kind of difficult in tight spaces and because the total height is 78 inches or one meter and 98 centimeters, you do need to be careful for height clearance. The exterior of the new Tundra looks amazing. I really like the design and this TRD Pro model with this kind of fake raw carbon fiber looking plastic cladding around looks very angry. Due to its width, it requires these three orange lights in the front, which are amber in the back. It has front LED lights. It has an LED light bar underneath the Toyota emblem. It has LED fog lights. And of course, because the engine is turbocharged, it needs a massive freaking grill to suck in a lot of air for the turbos and the intercoolers. Overall, I think it has a very muscular stance. I like it a lot. From all the trucks currently available, I think this is the best looking one. Inside now, the interior has been much improved compared to before. It actually looks identical with the new Sequoia. It has some massive Toyota letters stuck right in front of the passenger. It doesn't feel as luxurious as let's say a Ram 1500, 
but in a very Toyota-like way, everything has been kept functional, simple, but at the same time, it feels up to date. In terms of technology, you get blind spot monitors, you get lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, all the goodies, including safety systems for collision mitigation and stuff. You have a very nice instrument cluster that's all digital now and contains pretty much all the information that you need. The infotainment system has a massive 14 inch screen with maps that look kind of like Apple Maps or Google Maps. They look very good. It has a pretty impressive JBL sound system with a subwoofer right behind the rear bench. It supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And last but not least, as we said, it has pretty good surround view cameras. I especially like the view for helping you hook up a trailer. This one also has a trailer brake controller, which is always very handy. You get a very good looking heated steering wheel with a red stripe on the top because hey, DRD Pro and sporty. You also get a nice stripe on the gear lever right here. You have ventilated and heated front seats, massive nice sunroof. You have a wireless charger, lots of USB ports, a very clever center console stack here with stuff that move around, a very decent cubby box underneath with like space for coins and pens and whatever you want to throw in there. If I have one complaint, that would be that the door pockets are very tiny. They barely fit small bottles, but the cup holders are pretty large and you have two up front here and two in the back. The driving position is really nice. I am super comfortable here. Love the seats, love everything. Visibility is pretty good as long as you're not looking very close to you. Passengers in the back have lots of leg room, knee room. It's like a living room back there. Honestly, you have a lot of space and they also get USB charging ports and a few cubbies to put their stuff. Very good accommodation back there. A really cool feature that I really like about this Tundra is that the back window opens all together as one piece. So if you're hauling like longer items, instead of them sticking out backwards, you can point them inside the cabin. So it's like safer unless you break and then it comes right to your head. Anyway, you get the idea. The one thing that kind of bothers me is the fact that this car, just like any other Toyota, comes with only five years of corrosion, like rust warranty. Especially here in Canada, it's kind of shitty to think that, oh, if after six years, your car starts getting all rusty or your truck, you're shit out of luck and you have to, you know, go to the body shop and pay thousands of dollars for those guys. So, you know, others have like seven, nine, 12. It would be nice to see a little bit more, especially from a manufacturer that half the sales, Toyotas and Lexuses, they sell because they're considered reliable. So if you want something to last forever, it should also not rust. Hmm? Now, competition, that's pretty fierce. You have the best-selling Ford F-150 in the segment. You have the workhorses, GM, Silverado, and Sierras. You have the luxurious and with endless options, Ram 1500. And of course, let's not forget the pretty tough Nissan Titan. Overall, this Tundra might have lost its V8 engine, but I think it's gained a lot more. So the final balance sheet really works out in its favor. And knowing that this is probably the most reliable truck out there, I think that if I was shopping for something like this right now, this would probably be on the top of my list with of course this iForce Max drivetrain, because why not? Overall score, nine out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to share it with your friends, subscribe, but most importantly, till next time, be well. Bye-bye.